good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today we're looking at repeating patterns in Canva. I've got a really good quick tip on how you can easily create repeating patterns in Canva. So let's dive into Canva and take a look. Before we take a look at that, today's day 16 of the 24 coffees. So this one is called Two Chimps. Uh, let's dive into Canva. So what we've done is we've come into Canva and what we're going to do first, in order to create a repeating pattern, the most ideal shape to have as a, for your background or your template or your canvas, whatever you want to call it, is a square. So I've started off with a an Instagram square and in order to show you this, I've come and I've chosen some different graphical elements. I've just come to graphics and then just chose some of these. These are design for cause design for a cause so all we're going to do is we're going to come on and i've just added these on these are just you can use any elements it can be elements that you've uploaded that will also work and you just come on and you can put these around what you want to do on this first image or your first kind of like part of the repeating pattern because you're going to do this a few times you want to make sure that there is space all around the edge if you for instance put this pattern here you're not going to get a repeating pattern because the tops cut off so when you put that on top of each other the ears are not at the bottom now you could try and kind of like line up and copy that down and put a version of it down here but that's not going to work okay so i'm just going to delete that and i'm going to bring this one back down to be where it was now what we're going to do is once we've got our images lined on there can you know you're going to have some space fill the space and change the size of all your images as much as you want to you can just you know hold down the option key and make a copy you can flip these about if you want to change the color of different things you know just just move it about and do that this one's not in the design that I've created, so I'm going to delete that so it doesn't confuse you. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to come down to download. We're going to download it as a PNG with a transparent background if you can. Don't worry too much about the transparent background. If you can download with a transparent background because you've got the pro option of Canva and there's a 45 day trial of Canva Pro if you want to give this a go down in the comments below. Download with a transparent background because that's going to allow you to change the colour of your background once you've got your repeating pattern set up. Download page one, ignore all the other pages. I'm going to be going through each of these pages one page at a time. I've already downloaded these so I'm going to come to my upload section. Okay, and you can see this is where I've got my upload. What we've now got is we've got a page where we've got four of these on there. But how have you done that, Darren? That looks really cool. Okay, so all we've done, and I'm going to show you this, is we've got this grid. Now, to find this grid, all you do is you come to elements and you go to grids and if you scroll down there's a few down here you've got this one that's a four by four, one by two by two grid when you first add the two by two grid on there it is going to have spacing so let me remove that and i'll add that back to the thing see how it's got the spacing here okay all you do is you come up to spacing and remove that to zero now, once you've got that on zero, what you're going to do is you can come back to your uploads. And now with your uploads, you can now go to drag this on four times. And don't worry about that background being white because you will be able to change that. And we're going to export again as a transparent background. OK, now we've got those four on there. OK, still keeping a separate white or space around the edge for this stage. We're still keeping that space around the edge. Now what you want to do at this second stage is you want to come back to your elements and where you've got your elements that you've used, you want to now drag in some extra elements. And you can see I've done that here. I've got this extra element here, an element here, an element here. Now, using this method, if you're using this method and you're using photographs, okay, so if you're using a uh, an image, I love how retro this image is, if you're holding using an image that you've re-uploaded okay what you might need to do is you might need to hold down the command key and move this around 
because if you don't hold down the command key it's going to try and drop it in one of those squares okay and that, that could get really frustrated you can also use the arrow keys to move your image around and i'm just holding down the shift key and that moves it by 10 or you can let go of the shift key and that'll move it by one pixel at a time okay so now we've added some extra things and we're going to fill in the spaces on here okay next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download page three again okay because you're going to come up to downloads and you're going to download that with a transparent background okay so let me show you png transparent background i'm going to click page three so this is only page three it'll be page two on yours okay so once we've downloaded our page three we're going to come back to our uploads and we'll see here we've got our page three this is where we've got the image in a, in four in a four grid if you like now for the next one what we're going to do i'm just going to add a page in here so you can see what i've done here okay so this next one what you're going to do is you're going to come to elements again and on this time we're going to look at the grids and we're going to choose this one which is to the left and the right i think that's what i've done on this one yep yeah. the left and the right and again remove the spacing okay so this is now you've removed the spacing i'm going to come to our uploads and this is now what we're going to do is we're going to shift the image 50 percent to the left and 50 percent to the right so it's going to kind of start creating that overlap at the edge so this is where you can start creating the overlap so it looks like a seamless pattern so what we've got is we've got our pattern here okay so i'm just going to drag that over and this one again i'm going to drag that over now when you come in you might think like oh that's not a seamless pattern darren okay all you do is you double click in and you're dragging that over to the edge because what it's done is it's central centralized the square image inside the of the narrow bit so if i click undo okay so what you're gonna have to do is drag that over to the edge and then the same for this one if you drag double click and drag that over to the edge you'll see now in the middle here this pattern is seamless and you'll see this is where you're starting at the edge here this is where you're going to start seeing that overlap so as this person puns around the heads on this side so it's going to start creating that repeating pattern this is creating a repeating pattern left to right we still need to go up and down so what we're going to do is we're going to export that image and then once we've exported that image we then create a new page and on this new page you'll have your come back to the elements and this time you want to create and use the grid see here i'll click see all grids we want to use the grid where it's the top and the bottom and we're going to remove the spacing so there's no spacing in there and then we're going to come back to our uploads again and in our uploads okay we've got our upload this time it wouldn't have been that one it would have been that one for me okay so you can see there's a repeating pattern on the left and the right and you're gonna drag those down and again what you're gonna do double click to move those up and you can do this on the mobile as well you just have to position and drag it to the left or the right or up and down okay so now what we've got is we've got repeating on the top and the bottom but you'll see we've got kind of like this kind of like line in here what you might want to do is add in there some more elements again but when you're adding elements at this stage because it started repeating around the edge on both left and the right what you want to do any additional elements that you put in the middle here so if i put in there a circle for, for example if i put that circle in there i want to make sure it stays inside of the square I don't want to put the circle here because again it's not going to repeat it's going to look cut off and what have you so you're going to have to put that in the middle once you've done that and you've got your pattern so you split it left and right top and bottom added your extra elements in you're going to then want to come and test to see if this pattern works okay so on that one once you've done that you're then going to want to download that final version okay you download it transparent background and it'll be your final page that you've you've done as you've been going along okay now on the final page what you're going to do is you're going to come back to elements 
We're going to go to grids. And then in grids, if you scroll down, there's all sorts of different grids that you can have here. But the ones we want to use are ones that are equal. So this kind of like three by two, it's not going to quite work. Just purely because of the aspect ratios of how the grid works. But if I scroll down, you see I've got a nine grid here. So I can come to this nine grid, remove the spacing. Okay. And then now I've uploaded my pattern that's been repeated. So this one here, where we've repeated it top and bottom. You can see there. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that top and the bottom. We've added in extra elements in here if we want to. Come to download, exported it, re uploaded that. Okay, and what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you this. So, this is the final pattern, if you like, that will be a repeating pattern. Okay, so you can see it repeats left to right and it repeats the pattern, repeats top to bottom as well. So, you can now stack these on top of each other, left to right, top to bottom. And a way to test your pattern or to test if your pattern has worked once you've got to this final stage if you come and put this nine grid in and then all you're going to do is drag this in nine times doesn't matter what order you fill these in but this is going to be how you test if your repeating pattern has worked and you can see there let me zoom in this repeating pattern has worked. You can't see, yeah, you can't see where the repeating pattern is. I'm highlighting this square, if you like, on the frame so that you can see the blue outline. But as I zoom in, and I'm zoomed in at over 100%, you can't see, and this dotted line is just grid lines on there, but you can't see where the pattern repeats there you go really simple easy way of how you can create a repeating pattern in canva i think this is better and easier than my previous method that i've shown on this channel if you want to check out the other video i'll put a link up here for you and until next time thank you very much bye for now